What is going on fellow farmers? Welcome back to another beginner's guide tutorial with your boy CJ Farms. Today guys, I am going to be showing you how to manage your horses. Now this is going to be the last of the animals that we're doing. We've done chickens so far, we've done cattle, we've done sheep, pigs, and now we're doing horses. Horses are a lot easier to take care of and they're a lot more fun to take care of actually. And I'll show you about that here in just a minute. With that being said guys, subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already and smash that like button for me as I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, let's get on with this now. The first thing you're going to need is a horse pasture, or as they call it in the game, a horse paddock. If you go in your store, guys, and you're going to go over to placeables and go to animal pins and scroll over, you are going to see that you have a um, horse paddock, a small one, and then a large one. A large one looks like this. This is going to be your large horse, horse, large horse paddock, if I can say it. That's a hard word to say. That's your large one, guys. The only difference really is the quantity and the price. So the small one is 50K. Um, it holds uh, eight horses, and it is $50 a day for maintenance. The second one will hold 16 horses, where it is $95 a day in maintenance, and is 95K. All right, so with that being said, let's hop out. We'll give you a quick tour around of the horse paddock itself. Now, over here, this is where your food is going to go, okay? All your food, uh, which is going to include um, straw, oats i'm sorry yeah straw oats and hay now your straw doesn't go here your straw goes over there but hay and oats will go right here okay now if we go around here this is where you go into to open up your animal dialogue to purchase your horses okay walk around if you guys see i got i have four horses in the pen already uh, these are really neat animals guys i'm really glad they brought horses to fs19 this right here is going to be your straw intake spot right here for all your uh, straw and then right here, of course, is where your water goes. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, we are going to hop into this tractor right here. And um, you want to get a water trailer. Now, if you go into the store, guys, and go over to Tools and then go over to Animals, you're going to see the uh, Aquatrans right here. That's the one you want right there on the end. This is the one you're going to want to get. Exit out. And if you want to get water, okay, if you want to get water, see that little tank I got sitting right over there, guys? It's going to be this tank right here if you go in the store and go over to placeables and go to miscellaneous this is going to be your water station you just take this guys and pretty much just place it anywhere just like that and you now have infinite water it's five thousand dollars not that much if you guys need some extra money for your um farming simulator if you need extra money and you want to be a millionaire and have the farm of your dreams i can show you how to do that and i'll link the video right now that takes you to a video showing you how to be a millionaire within seconds on farming simulator 19. No joke, 100% legit, guys. It is an awesome mod. It's called the Money Tool. I love it. Go check that out, guys, and uh, you can come back and buy all this equipment that you need. You don't have to have all the equipment I have, of course, but anybody that plays Farm Simulator 19 likes to have a big farm, big equipment, and, you know, just everything they want. So I know how frustrating it is to go into the game and not be able to buy something that you want. Uh, we struggled with that on FS15 and 17 until we found some actual money cheats. With that being said, I'm getting off topic. Um, the next thing we are going to do is uh, we're going to hop back on this tractor. And the only thing you're going to do, guys, once you get your water trailer filled up, you're going to go in here, park your trailer right here, and hit the I. It's going to now fill up the water. All right? And for four horses, it's probably not going to take much. Uh, so once you get that, we're going to hop out. We are going to go over here. And with these trailers right here, guys, the ones I'm using, if you go to the store and go over to tools and then go all the way over to trailers, this is the trailer that I'm using right here. I love these trailers. They're amazing. Um, and they hold uh, 70, I'm sorry, 21,000 liters of whatever you put into them, okay? As you guys can see down here, the little icons, it pretty much holds anything and everything except for maybe just like a few items. Um, with that being said, you can get any trailer you want, but that is the one I'm using for this tutorial. Uh, let's exit out. Now, in this trailer right here, I have oats, okay? We're going to put it in. We're going to put in oats and we are also going to put in our hay, all right? Now, you, uh, there's another option you can do, guys. If you go into the store and you go over to placeables, okay? And you go to, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's not placeables. It is objects. Go to big bags and go right here to where it says oat big bag. You can actually pull those trailers up beside these bags. And uh, I believe it's the R button. You hit R to start filling them, okay? Uh, but you'll have to pop, probably buy a, a few of these to fill up your trailer, all right? Uh, with that being said, each bag is a thousand liters. Um, that trailer itself holds um, 
21,000 liters, so you're figuring 21 bags. So if it's 1,000 liters per bag, it is tw going to be 21 bags of food to fill up this trailer with oats, okay? Uh, with that being said, once you got your oats, let's fire up the tractor, and we are going to pull it over here. We'll get into riding the horses here in just a minute. We are, we are going to feed them first. All right, so you're going to pull in here just like this with the oats. Going to hit the eye. Going to start dumping over. We're going to see how much it's going to take. Let's let the oats go off in there. And is it going to take it all? Is it? No, not quite. Not quite. All right, so we'll pull this ahead. Park that there. We're going to hop out, go back, and now we are going to grab our hay. All right, going to grab our hay. And we're going to take this over and dump it in because it takes two of it takes two different crops to feed these i'm sorry two different food types to feed the horses so pull it in here now we're going to dump our hay by hitting the eye and start dumping that in there just like so uh the horses are actually guys you're going to find the horses are a lot more fun to mess around with than the um than the uh the other animals because it's just a lot more stuff to them okay so that's all it took so now we're going to pull over here. So, so far we've put in water, we've put in oats, and we've put in hay. Let's open up the uh, animal menu, guys. Now, if you notice over here, we have uh, full oats, full hay, and full water. Now, we have no straw yet, okay? I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's exit back out. I'm going to go over here. And right here, there's two different ways you can do straw, okay? I do have a trailer full of straw right here. All right, we're going to hop into this front loader. If you go in the store, guys... And go over to vehicles and go down to front loaders right there. This is going to be the front loader that you want right here. Now, when you get it, make sure for this particular uh, type of thing that you're doing, you want to go over to tools and then go over to front loaders and grab this bell spike right here, okay? You want to get that bell spike, all right? Now, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start this up. And I'm going to show you guys what machine we're going to put this into. All right? So this is the machine we're going to put it into right here. This is called the Coon uh, Straw Intake. Uh, so uh, go to your store, go over to Tools, and go to Animals, okay? And scroll over, and you're going to find it right here. This is the um, the Primor 15070 Coon Straw Intake, okay? So what this pretty much does, you put your straw in there, it grinds it up into, into bits, throws it into the, into the pasture, okay? Um, that one is going to be, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to tell you the price now, sorry about that. The price is $25,000, it holds one bell, but you can put two in there. Uh, and um, it, it requires 100 horsepower to pull it, uh, and that's pretty much it. It for that you can use it for um you can use it for cow stables with straw or you can use it for horses or pigs it doesn't matter you can use it for any animal that requires straw so with that being said we're going to exit out now we're going to take this and we are going to dump this over in here like that if i can get it to there we go okay we got it got it in there let's back up put this down hop out now we're going to hop in here all right, and you're going to hit the I to start putting the straw in. All right, and you can move that as well if you want to, that arm. And I'm going to stop right there, all right? And we're going to pull this out of the way. I want to show you guys both ways to do this. I'm going to pull it out, hop out, and we're going to hop in this trailer where we have a trailer full of straw. All right, you're going to hit the I button. And once it starts pouring out, you will notice the straw expands in there. Now, it will not take no more straw once it has enough. As a matter of fact, if I try to hit it again, no more capacity for straw, okay? Now, with that being said, this, the horses now have food. They have oats, hay, water, and they have the required straw. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to purchase your animals. If you go into here and hit the R key, it's going to bring up your animal dialogue. Now, keep in mind, this holds eight horses only, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and we are going to purchase two more. We're going to purchase two more, right? So I'm going to go ahead. Now, if you look right here, there is a $600 fee. Uh, that is simply a transportation fee. I'll show you how to transport them uh, from the animal dealer. Let's go ahead and hit confirm. And you now have two more horses in there. Now, if I go up to right here, all right? Now, that chart right there that I have is the only base game horse chart in the game, guys. If you go in the store 
and go to tools and go to animal transport right here okay it is going to be the big master western wcf right here now the reason mine is green is because you can change the color and i put mine john deere green just to match my tractor um i have a terrible code guys with that being said that's the only trailer in the game base game that um carries horses and it only carries two horses okay and you're going to want to drive over to this spot right here guys where we, where we bought the animals before you're just going to pull into here like that now if you want to for the realism you can unfold the trailer and you can take the cover off and hit the r on your keyboard and over here where it says farm that's where your horses are in the pasture okay this is the pasture this right here is your trailer so we're going to go move move and hit confirm the horse pasture now has eight horses and is full okay we're going to close that back up and we are going to pull out of this spot now let's hop back out now with that being said we are now going to let me see if they will actually take more straw because i think they will now they will take more straw now because there is more horses okay there's that and you want to make sure that they have plenty of food plenty of water um Okay, no more capacity for water, so they have plenty of water, and I'm pretty sure they have plenty of food for right now. Now, with that being said, I am going to speed up the time tremendously, okay? I'm going to speed up the time a little bit. Now, one thing about horses is they are not messy. They are not messy at all. There's no mess to clean up. It's not required. It is not required. And stop the time right there. All right, let's go back into the, into the animal menu. And now if you notice that everything is at 100%, their health, uh, their productivity. Uh, but this is down to 3% only because we have not ridden none of the horses yet. Their food is down, their water is down, and their straw is down, okay? That being said, let's back out. Now we're going to get into the fun part of riding these horses. Now if you walk around um, this side right here, there is a little opening right here, a gate. And you can open that, all right? Um, and we are going to ride Patchy. We're going to find Patchy. Now, that's Jake. That's Jake. Which one was Patchy? This one? That's Gizmo. Where is... That's Santa. <laughs> we want to ride Patchy. Here we go. So, you're going to go to Patchy, and you are going to hit E, right? And you're going to get on the horse, and we are going to turn him. Now, to make him walk forward, you're just going to push the W one time, okay? That's going to make him just, just walk. All right, and they will walk over the fence. Keep that in mind. All right, they will walk over the fence. I was trying not to do that. Now, if you want to speed him up, hit the W again. Kind of like a little trot. And then to what they say, canter, hit W again. All right, that's kind of like a little canter. And then gallop one more time. All right, and that's their full speed. Now, keep in mind, you have to ride these horses five minutes in real time. Not gang time, guys. Five minutes every day, each horse. Okay, five minutes every single day to get their full capacity, okay? Now, if you want to slow them down, you can hit S. That will slow them down, bring them to a stop. Just keep hitting the S until they stop. And you can also hit the S once they stop to walk backwards. See that? And you can turn them, all right? Just like that. Now, another cool thing about the horses, too, is you can also jump them. So if you want to jump, press space bar, and they will jump. Um, now, you can get them to jump off. There, there is mods you can install to the game. Uh, like, I think there's like some horse racing stuff you can install. And they will jump the fence. They will jump it. They will definitely jump it. See that? Just got to time it just right. But I like to uh, take them inside the gate uh, just for the realism. We're going to take him back around. Now, remember, guys, keep in mind, ride each horse five minutes every single day to get their full capacity. All right, we're going to slow him down. Right, we're going to take him back inside the gate. But it's pretty cool, guys. This is the cool part about the horses because you actually get to... Whoa, what are you doing, brother? Hey, my man, you're going to have to get... Don't be stubborn. All right, so get him back inside the gate. Once you want to get off him, guys, just hit the E again and you'll hop off. And he has now been ridden. Now, with that being said, let's hop back out of the fence if I can get my guy to go back out of here. Close the gate. Now, there is a mod. I don't normally do mods on tutorials, but there is one mod in particular that would really help each and every one of you that want to do horses. It's through Global Company. I don't have it installed on this particular uh, tutorial file, but it is a mod in Global Company called Horse Helper. What it pretty much does is it charges you $300, $300 every day per horse 
for someone to come in and ride them and ride them to their full capacity. Now, if we go back into the menu, all right, and we want to find, um, we want to find Patchy. Where is he at? Right there is Patchy. Now, we are going to go ahead and speed up the time. All right, I'm going to speed the time up a little bit. We're going to take it around just a tad. All right, so we'll wait till the daylight comes back and stop it right there. And then go back into the menu. Uh, you will go to Patchy and see that his horse riding skills is now going up, okay? Because I've only ridden him. I haven't ridden him in five minutes, but five minutes in real time, he'll be at 100%, okay? Uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, there's really not much else to show you about horses. That is pretty much it. Now, the good thing about horses where they're profitable is once you ride every horse to full capacity, which means each horse five minutes per day in real time, you can sell them for 50000 a piece. okay? So that is the good thing about horses. If we go in here and we hit R and you want to try and say sell one of your horses, this is the price it's going to sell for right now, okay? That's what it's going to sell for, all right? Let me hit escape. But that is pretty much it for your horses, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support. We are currently um, on the road to 1K, and we are already sitting at 900. I think it's 900 and... Uh, let me check here real quick. What are we? We are 964 subscribers, guys, so... Hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and click all if you haven't already so you never miss anything I post. Um, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next video. This is CJ Farms, and one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I love you all so much, and I will see you all in the next video.